हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू येट अनदर वीडियो विथ मी तन्मय मेहता योर होम टेक्नोलॉजी और होम थिएटर कंसल्टेंट और इवन होम थिएटर वाले भैया एंड वॉट वी हैव स्टार्टेड राइट नाउ इज दैट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव थ्री वीडियोज एवरी वीक ऑन मंडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव वन वीडियो विच इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन कमेंट ऑफ द वीक ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्चुअली मेक अ वीडियो ऑन वन ऑफ योर कमेंट सो यू माइट बी वन ऑफ द लकी विनर्स हु विल हैव एन एंटायर वीडियो डेडिकेटेड फॉर योर कमेंट्स आंसर एंड द सेकेंड that is second video that will be released every week would be about a particular products review that we are going to do now this is going to release on wednesday and the third type of video that would be released on saturday would be about a hack or a basic uh, thing that you have to consider while designing your home theater so that we can stay connected as promised in our videos and you can gain maximum information so that you are in a better place to make wise well informed and right decisions when it comes to buying anything to everything in the home theater space now talking about our first comment of the week video well we did one obviously earlier but with a new format that we are going to introduce because our last video gained lot of uh, success in terms of reach and in terms of connection with all of you so that's where we thought of doing it regularly and this particular week we have chosen mr eldo elias comment now i am going to read out that comment so that we can then further start over answering that comment for all of you so eldo elias asks hey tanmay first of all you make absolutely informative videos which i am sure helps a lot of people like it does to me now thank you for that eldo i am currently in a dilemma where probably you could only help me i own a benq projector tk800m and i want to pair it with a dolby atmos speakers but unfortunately benq doesn't have an hdmi arc the ports it has got are two standard hdmis aux audio input and output and i don't have a budget to buy an av receiver is there a way i could achieve dolby atmos currently my setup has chromecast connected to the projector and i'm using a chromecast bluetooth to pair it with a normal speaker please help me well eldo i think i can understand and relate to your comment because there are a lot of people like you who are trying to connect a dolby atmos sound system to a projector and want an hdmi arc or earc on their video devices just the way you have got it in your tv unfortunately the tvs are smart wherein you have got apps like youtube netflix hotstar amazon prime everything inbuilt into the tv and in projector you don't have that now that is one of the primary reasons why you will never see hdmi arc or earc in this regular home theater projectors which are not smart home theater projectors in a projectors like xzmi which has got inbuilt uh, google you know android tv in those you might have the hdmi arc or earc feature but in this benq epson sony viewsonic optima all these brands home theater projectors you will never see an hdmi arc or earc ports that simply because they don't have any uh smart tv application inside it now how do you overcome this problem well as you rightly mentioned you are connecting it via bluetooth to a bluetooth speaker so the chromecast that you are using or if others are using fire tv stick which is which they are directly plugging it into the projector you can pair that bluetooth with any bluetooth speaker and that's how you can send the audio to that speaker now when you buy a dolby atmos sound system it has to be either a sound bar or it has to be either a AV receiver if it is a sound bar the sound bar will have an hdmi in so that you can connect the input like your fire tv stick to that and the output of that is what you can connect to the projector by doing this what will happen is the sound bar will take the hdmi source from the chromecast or fire tv stick it will separate the audio and the video signals the audio will be then given into the atmos format and only and only the video will be further sent to the projector by doing this you will have your dolby atmos content and at the same time you will have your 4k resolution on the screen provided your content obviously is in 4k format now for those of you who have got an av receiver the ideal job of an av receiver is like to act like a console in your home theater system so you connect your multiple hdmi inputs to this av receiver and pull out a video out and connect it to your projector by doing this if your av receiver is dolby atmos enabled and you have got the dedicated dolby atmos 7 9 11 channel speakers 
then you will surely get a Dolby Atmos sound and the video will be only given to the projector which will be full HD or 4K based upon again the input content. Now by, by doing this in both the manners, you will achieve Dolby Atmos and you will achieve the 4K or full HD resolutions on the projector. But expecting the projector to have HDMI ARC will be really difficult because most of the projectors today do not have that feature. Now, if at all you are planning for a Bluetooth speaker and you don't have the provision to do the cabling, then in such cases, as I mentioned, connect the Fire TV Stick or Google Chromecast Bluetooth directly to the uh, speaker so that you can have a wireless Bluetooth transmission and you do not have to lay any particular cable. Now, Bluetooth is not going to support Atmos, obviously. It will at the most support 5.1 audio, which again may not be felt because if you are buying a single Bluetooth speaker, it's going to be a stereo speaker. So for a stereo speaker, the sound will come out in 2.1 channel and it won't be in a 5.1 or 5.1.2 channel sound system. So I would like to understand Eldo here that what is the sound system that you have or which one is, is it that you are planning to buy. If it is any of the Dolby Atmos soundbars, then I'm pretty sure that you will by default get one HDMI input and one HDMI output. So the input is where you'll fire your Chromecast will go in and the output is where you'll have to connect your projector's HDMI cable. Now in case you're buying the Sonos Arc, Sonos Arc does not have any input and that is where you might have a big challenge because it has got only EARC port. And in such cases, ideally the Sonos Arc can be only connected to TV wherein you have got an ERC port or an ARC port and you pull out the audio from the TV and connect it to the soundbar. Now that is again possible because your TV is a smart TV and projectors are not. So I hope that this particular video answers your comment as well as thousands of other people who are in the same dilemma whether you, they have any solution for a projector which is without an HDMI ARC or ERC and want it to connect to a Dolby Atmos or a Dolby Digital sound setup. So if at all you have more such questions for me or more such dilemmas that you are facing, then do not forget to use the comment section in any of our videos and we would ensure that we will pick out one of the lucky comments which is actually going to give much more insights to a lot of people including you and we are going to choose and make a particular video on that particular comment. So, Keep commenting, keep liking and keep sharing the videos. That's it from my end guys. I Tanmay Mehta, your home technology consultant or home theater wale bhaiya. We'll see you all in my next video. Thank you.